All right, boys, so look, this is an insanely epic feature that I just found. Or I mean, I'm lying, I didn't just find it, but I just got the idea to show you about it, you know? So there's actually two of them, right? Which I'll cover this in a, in a later video, but align position, okay? Align position, look at this. Look at, look, at the, look at the beauty of it, okay? It has a color, apparently. I did not know that. So the way this works is that it takes two attachments. You know, it has a bunch of other, you know, properties which we will cover. However, these attachments can be gathered by, well, let, we can create two parts, okay? So I'll create part one and part two. And for both parts, I will add in an attachment like so. And, when, and by the way, in case you don't know, when you add an attachment inside of a part, it automatically is positioned in the middle of the part, okay? You are able to move the attachment, so you know, I, you are able to like, like move it around like so, but you know, usually let, let's just keep the attachment in the middle of the part. So we can take the align position and you can actually posi position this anywhere you want. So it can be in the workspace, it can be inside of a part, inside of an attachment, doesn't matter, right? All you, all it needs is just to have these attachments, right? Now I will place it inside a part just so it's, you know, j just for convenience sake. Um, but yeah, and so what I'll do is I'll set attachment zero to here and attachment one all the way to this attachment. And as you can see, we can actually see that they're now connected, right? Oh, where did I go? Um, so you can make it visible. Do I know what that does? Not really, <laughs> but it's visible now. I believe it's, um, let me see. If we play the game, and if I add a drag detector to, to this part, so we can actually move it in the game, right? Um, then as I'm, as I, yeah, I'm gonna start. Yeah, see, so it's leaving me right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'll keep this part, okay? And what I'll do is I'll create a script, which all it will do is whenever a new player joins, it's gonna, you know, wait for the player's character and then it's going to basically add a new um, aligned position and then connect it to this attachment and the player's attachment. Which actually, as I'm speaking this, I just realized that I don't even know myself what attachments the player has. Um, hat, uh, okay, l l let's use the heads hat attachment, okay? So hat attachment, so it's called hat attachment. We, c you, we could make a new attachment inside a script and you know, insert that in the player's head so we could do that um which i guess would be smarter in case in the future roblox decides to like rename the attachments for some reason um but but okay let, let's do this so game dot players dot player added connect function which gives us the player okay um and then we can say local care is equal to player dot character okay um or Player dot character character added dot weight. So I believe I'm not actually too sure about this line, but I think this will get the player character. But if it cannot find the player character, then it will wait and then give us the player character. I don't remember if or or and are supposed to be used here, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Okay. And then so once we get once we have the player's character, what I'm gonna do is I'll say okay local player attach is equal to character wait for child head wait for child what was it like hat attachment yeah hat attachment and then i'll say local part attach part attach is equal to workspace wait for child part wait for child attachment okay and then i'll just say local um align position align position is equal to instance.new align position um i guess actually as i'm typing all because this is kind of mindless code right um do what do you think bro is my channel dying off <laughs> the past couple of videos have not been doing too well right i don't know i don't know how much this this one will get you know maybe 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 two thousand views maybe three thousand you know three thousand would be nice what is this oh this is one of the ai thingies let's see that's actually pretty cool. I mean, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be that like complicated for, for the sake of this tutorial, but it is pretty cool, especially how it's actually saying, oh, it's parent can be the head, which actually, you know what? Let's do exactly that. But parent equals uh, care, wait for child head. So let, let's parent it to the head of the player. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, bro, you know, leave a comment, bro. Like, if, you know, if, if you think the channel has been dying off, and if you think you know why, don't just, don't be one of those, like, annoying people being like, oh, your channel's d dead. Like, I know, bro, I know. <laughs> but let, let me know why, okay? Let me know why. Maybe it's, like, a phase of YouTube. Um, but yeah, align present plus position dot parent, and also cannot forget setting the actual attachments. So attachment one, or I'm stupid, bro. Attachment zero is equal to, uh, let's say part attach. Or no, actually no, let's make it equal to player.attach. Th there's no difference. It's just like, usually for me, I, I prefer setting the first attachment to the attachment that's going to be the one moving around, right? So the part isn't going to move by itself, but the player will. So usually set the attachment zero to the part that's moving around. Again, this won't actually have any like real changes. Like it doesn't matter which one you use. I just like it for, I don't know, like <laughs> it's just the way I do things. Um... Yeah, so we have, you know, a line position, a line position, and what I will do now is I'll say, um, I'll do workspace dot part, or actually no, because, because we wanted to, I mean, yeah, you know what, yeah, it's fine, never mind. Um, let's see if this works. If it doesn't, I, I know why, but, um, this should give you the general idea. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm understanding why. So the issue with this part is that it's not, um, I, I think, I'm pretty sure can collide should be, should be turned to off. I'm pretty sure. But the issue is I'm pretty sure if I turn off can collide, it's just going to start phasing through the ground. Um, let me see if it will though. Yeah, yeah, the part's literally just falling through the ground. So what, I, what I'm actually going to do instead is whenever a character gets, like whenever a new player gets added, um, I'm actually gonna make a new part, okay? So I'll say, oh, I'll say local part is equal to instance.new part, like so. I'll say part.attach is equal to instance.new attachment, which will be inside of, we're gonna parent it inside of the part, okay? And the part will be parented inside of the workspace. Um, we will say part dot position is equal to character dot head dot position, and then we're gonna make position just like a couple studs above, right? So let's do three studs above. So what we're saying is, okay, the part's position is equal to the character's head position plus three studs up. Okay, so it's gonna be three studs above the player's head. Um. And yeah, part attach. I don't know why. Oh, okay. What? There we go. Okay. Um, and then I think part um, dot can collide is equal to false. And then I think if we do it like this, let me see. Okay, you know what's actually interesting? I said before that the order of these doesn't matter, but what if it does? Like, this is because I, I, I've had games, bro, where the order did not matter. The order does matter. Oh, okay. My bad, boys. My bad. I've just completely misconstrued everything. That's actually a new thing for me. I did not know this. Okay. But see, you learn something every day. Yeah, so apparently, these do matter, okay? So, the attachment zero seems to be... Okay, I've just... I've been doing it all wrong this whole time, but it kept working. That is what? Okay, I don't, I don't. Leave a comment, bro. Leave a comment. I don't know. I don't know why this is. So yeah, apparently the attachment zero is for the actual part that's supposed to be following, and attachment one is for the attachment that's supposed to be moving. That makes more. That I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it works. All right, that's that's great. Now again, you know, as promised, I will tell you the um, properties of the uh, aligned position, and they're they're fairly simple. Okay, so let me just show you. So we got the um, let's see, yeah, yeah, visible color. Visible, I mean, visible equals true. Like if I said visible to true, right? It's one of those things where, like, let's see. If the game loads, yeah, like we we don't like there's it's not visible, right? Like, 
you don't actually see anything. I'm pretty sure visible is just for like some very like rare case scenario for like I don't know some some debugging playtesting, but like it, it doesn't actually show in the in the actual game, right? Which I think is weird because it has a color value. And again, I could be wrong on this as well, right? But I do know like you're 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 never gonna want an aligned position to be visible, right? Like what you actually want is to know how something like max force works or how responsiveness works, right? So basically what it says here, right? The maximum force is just how fast the part is allowed to move, right? Let's say if my player was flung really far, how, fa how fast is the part allowed to be moving to catch up with the player? So if the max force is very little, well then the player is like, the, I mean, the, yeah, then the part is gonna move very slowly. If I set the max force to like one, and for reference, by default, the max force is at um, 10,000, 10, right? If I set the aligned position max force to be one, I don't even know if it's moving, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's moving or not. If, if I said it's like, let's say 100, okay? Um, I think 100 is enough. Yeah, yeah. So the max force typically should be high, okay? Because you actually, you want the, you know, your parts to actually catch up together. Um, you have responsiveness, which effectively determines, yeah, like how quickly the constraint reaches its goal, right? So when, when a part moves, how quickly can the part actually reach its goal? So by default, responsiveness is um, 10. If I said responsiveness to be something like one, right? Yeah. If I said it to be one, yeah, then it's like, it's like, okay, you know, it's like, it's taking its time, you know, it's like tra tra trailing behind me. There we go. But if the responsiveness is high, then it's gonna move almost like instantly, right? So again, you know, that all depends on, on, actu on like what you actually want. Um, let's see what else is there. Max velocity. Max velocity and max force are basically the same things. Um, force limit mode. Just keep this at magnitude, right? A line, yeah, there we go, line position. So we have, we have these things, so something like apply at center of mass, right? So this determines whether the force is applied to the parent of the attachment zero um, or at the parent center of mass, right? So whether, yeah, so whether you apply it at the attachment or the actual part, you have a reaction uh, force enabled, which determines whether the constraint applies force to only attachment zero or to both attachments. So I think this is what I was doing wrong. I think. Yeah, so with reaction force enabled, um, both attachments are affected, right? But here, um, if this is uh, false, then only one of them is enabled, being um, the attachment zero, right? And then you have ri rigid, rigidity, I don't know the word, rigidity enabled, which determines whether the force is dependent on other properties or if the physics solver reacts as quickly as possible to complete the alignment. Or in short, just like, like if you want, if you want the part to just move as quickly as possible, set this to true, okay. But if you want it to be dependent on other other physics, set this to false, okay. I know, I know, I'm like reading it from the box, but it's just I, f I found that the box usually explains it the best than I do, just because it's, you know, made by Roblox themselves. Um, and you do have modes, okay. So, yeah, I think this is one of the last ones. So whether the constraint uses one or two attachments in calculating its goal. I'll be completely honest, this is something I've never actually used myself, and I've never seen anyone else use this. I believe... I believe what this does is it takes only one attachment, and then takes a position, um... Like, like, um, property. So, so it only works with one attachment, and that one attachment is, um, like, gonna be aligned to one position. Right. So, for example, if I if I set if I set the mode to be, um, what is the mode again? Position dot alignment type. Yeah. If I set it to edm dot position alignment type, position alignment type dot one attachment. Right. Um. So let's let, let's say from the very beginning. Okay. And I'll say yeah. The position yeah. Like so. And then the parent can just be I don't know workspace. And then I'll say the align position dot position is equal to vector three, or no, you know what? Let's do this workspace dot spawn location 
dot position plus vector three dot new zero ten zero. Yeah, so I believe what this will do is this will just move the part like on top of the spawn location. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So th that's how it works, right? You can either use two attachments or just one attachment with an added position property. And that's effectively it for um, aligned position. Yeah, so basically just takes two attachments with attachment zero being the one that moves. Or which which one was it? What, what, what did we do? How did we do it again? Like th this does get a little confusing, right? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so attachment zero is the part that moves and attachment one is or no attachment zero is the part that's supposed to be moving along like it's the part that's following and attachment zero is the part that's moving initially right um and yeah that's basically it so you know use use this for whatever you need use this for like you know your i don't know pet simulator game there's like like thousands of them <laughs> out there now so you know be creative with it okay you know make sure to use these for a grand purpose or whatever. And yeah, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.